Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a rectangle with dimension 16 by 24. And the rectangle is made up of triangles that have a perimeter of 48, a perimeter of 36, and a perimeter of 56. And the question is asking, what is the perimeter of the orange triangle? I got this puzzle directly from Brilliant. It's part of the 100 days of puzzles. It's all the way down here, level 19, right here. Perimeter from perimeters. I started going through them backwards. I started at level 20 and I'm about, I think around here right now. And this is the one we're gonna do right now, perimeter from perimeters. Spoiler alert, we're gonna solve this thing. And if you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, since we're trying to find the perimeter of the orange triangle, I wanna create a formula for the perimeter of the orange triangle. Let's call this side length A, this side length B, and this side length C. And now we can say the orange triangle perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. This looks important, let's put a box around it. So now let's introduce some variables for the other sides of these triangles. Let's move this up and let's call the last side length of the green triangle X. And then since this entire distance is 24 and this is X, that means this side of the blue triangle is 24 minus X. And then let's call this side of the blue triangle Y. And then since this entire height is equal to 16, this side of the red triangle will be 16 minus Y. Does that make sense, Y? And then the base of this red triangle will equal 24, just like the base of the rectangle. And now we have a number and or variable to represent every side of each of these triangles. From here, we'll set the sums of all the sides of all three triangles equal to the known perimeters. I'll show you what I mean. Let's copy this down here get rid of the orange triangle and smush these over here. And then let's take the three triangles and duplicate them over here. On this side, let's focus on the side lengths. So all the sides have a variable and or number. And then on these three, let's focus on the known perimeters, the 48, the 36, and the 56. Now, if we add these up and add these up, the answers should be equal to each other. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna add up all the sides. X plus 16 plus A, plus 24 minus X plus C plus Y plus B plus 24 plus 16 minus Y. And then on the right hand side, we're gonna add up the perimeters, 48 plus 36 plus 56. On the left hand side, we have an X and a negative X, they can cancel each other out. Y and the negative Y can also cancel each other out. So the X and the Y didn't do anything besides organize our thoughts. And then we can combine like terms. Down here, the 24 plus 16 is 40, and this 16 plus 24 is also 40. And then 40 plus 40 is 80. So we have A plus B plus C plus 80 equals all this stuff. And on the right hand side, 48 plus 36 plus 56 is 140. From here, we can subtract 80 from both sides. On the left hand side, we're left with A plus B plus C. And on the right hand side, 140 minus 80 is 60. And now we have A plus B plus C equals 60. Well, that was what we were trying to solve. The perimeter of our orange triangle is A plus B plus C or 60. And this is the answer to our question. Let's see if it's right. 60 is one of the choices. Let's check it out. And it's correct. And it has a Y here. Let's see what they ended up doing. So this is pretty much the same thing as what we did. They recognized that the perimeter of the rectangle plus the X, Y, Z would give you the perimeter of these three triangles. And they have literally the same step we have. The inside of this plus 80 equals the 140. So they end up with 60. Basically the same strategy. They just didn't bother with the extra variables out here. And there's a lot more of these that are a lot of fun. Like here's some of the more recent ones that I did. We have the short pour. This is one of those where you can fill this all the way or fill this all the way or empty this all the way or empty this all the way or pour whatever's remaining in one of them into the other. And they wanna know how many moves would it take to measure out exactly three liters? Or is it not possible at all? I did this one, I had fun with this one. The angle hunt, you gotta love angle hunts. So the angles with the same color are the same measure. And you're trying to solve this angle up here. So you have to logically go through, get one of the colors, and then from there calculate another color, and then you can figure out the last color. I also did this one, it was fun, I recommend it. I might even make a video on something like this. I love angle chasing. This one was cool. This is one of those where every letter represents a unique single digit. They give you that E is five and they want you to solve for Y. And it's the same thing. You end up solving for one part of it and then you start working your way down. This one was fun too. Not super time consuming. You just had to think about it for a second. It's one of those where a certain type of person always tells the truth. One always lies and then one can do either. 
and you're trying to solve who this person is. I solved this one pretty quickly, but it was still pretty fun. This diagonal thinking one was a little bit trickier. I had to do some work for this one. So we're given this isosceles trapezoid, and you're trying to find the length of the diagonal. This one's kind of fun. I'm thinking about doing one of my next videos on this one. These are the most recent ones I just did. I still have all these ahead of me. And if you want to try these out, it's called 100 Days of Puzzles. Just visit brilliant.org slash andymath or scan the QR code on the screen. You can also click on the link in the description. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. They have geometry, algebra, calculus, linear algebra, probability, all the fun math classes. They also have tons of science courses, programming, artificial intelligence, data analysis, and much more. If you click on the link, you can try Brilliant for free, or you can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.